My name is George Lawrence Price. I was born one evening in December 1892 in Falmouth, County of Kings, Nova Scotia. It wasn't yet winter, but it was very cold. I became an agricultural worker, not really my choice, more so the family tradition. But I liked my job, the fields, and the harvest. Then, my world was turned upside down. There was the war, the Great War. There, in Europe, my brothers were fighting to protect poor little Belgium. One evening, in October 1917, a letter arrived for me. It was not yet winter, but it was very cold. I was conscripted for military service. I crossed the ocean, Liverpool, Southampton, Boulogne. I was in the 20th Battalion, 6th Brigade, 2nd Canadian Division. From spring till summer 1918, we fought with fury in the north of France. Our brigade advanced. The men were in good spirits. Me, I missed my fields, not battlefields. The fields of my Canada felt so far away. Cambrai, Valenciennes, we still advanced. Then, on the 5th of November 1918, we crossed the Belgian border. The morning of the 11th of November, we were in Mons. It will be the last battle. The armistice would take effect from 11 a.m. We crossed the village of Ion, the Avre Woods. The German resistance was weak. The victory was close. We arrived in front of the ville sur Canal. It is nearly 10. Arthur and I decided to search the houses the other side of the canal. It was then that the firing started. And then, it is not yet winter, but suddenly I felt very cold. It was 10.58, I was hit. I felt colder and colder. There was a young girl who was holding me in her arms, crying. She is free, I said to myself, and the last shot was for me. No more Canadians will die on this soil, I thought. And then, on November 11, 1918, at the ultimate moment when peace broke, you fell for us, George Price, the last victim of a sad conflict. 100 years later, the city of Mons pays homage to your memory and that of all Canadian soldiers killed for peace. Concerts, Parade of the Liberation, Mapping, from October 26 to November 11, Mons commemorates the armistice.